And that's such a huge piece that, um, you know, I, I would tell anyone who, who's interested in getting in coaching right now in this space um, to really invest in the, the relational aspect of it because it's so important. You can know all the sciences, you can know how to get people um, from where they are to their goals, but if you can't inspire them and communicate to them and get them to buy into your processes and then be able to help them overcome the obstacles and the challenges along the way, then you're essentially ineffective as a coach. Yeah. And, and what I, I learned. I wanted to touch a little bit on that because I don't know if you knew, but like I'm doing coaching right now and I've had yeah. a couple of athletes and um, that just kind of like opened my mind because the one thing that's hard for me to do is I can get them to where they want to be. And I have like a couple that will stick because they're disciplined in the sport. But um, the one thing that's the hardest thing about coaching is getting people to stay and like stay disciplined and keeping them motivated, inspired. That's like something yes. I struggle with a lot with my little coaching business I do on the side. Um, yeah, go ahead and go more in depth on uh, what you're about to say about that though. Yeah, such a great point. That is one of the biggest struggles, um, especially, you know, when we're coming out of, uh, you know, 2020 in, in, a, in a pandemic that, you know, uh, race cancellations and everybody having to deal with all those obstacles. Uh, and I, I say all the time, I think ultra runners are really equipped to handle a pandemic and, and the uncertainty and to be able to adapt on the fly and adjust their goals and be like, okay, well, we'll just go over here and focus on FKTs and process goals and all this stuff and we're fine. <laughs> um, but really what it comes down to as far as keeping people on board and, and, and consistent in, in training is um, helping them solve their own problems instead of as a coach trying to solve them for them. And that starts with the question-based approach of really getting to know them on a relational level and understanding and helping them understand their why. Like what is their purpose? What is their reason for training? And when we get distracted um, or whenever we frankly just have more important priorities on our plate, you know, uh, families and, and, and careers or school, then understandably running can take a back seat. But if we can stay in tune with our purpose, why do we run? What, what do we get from running and how do we give to the running community and we can engage with that on an emotional level, yeah. then we significantly increase our uh, consistency and our purpose for every workout. 